Hello, doers. In today's digital age, the transition towards a paperless system is becoming increasingly necessary. Not only does it save time, money and effort for your employees, but it is also expected in today's modern world. With the introduction of e-signatures, you can now eliminate printing, postage and travel costs, thereby making the process much more cost effective. At Pennyware, we have implemented AutoSign for our electronic signature needs. It is an easy to use tool that allows us to upload documents, designate signers and recipients and send them out immediately. So let's take a look at how it works in our database. So I'm here in my sign application. If I remove this filter, I can see all the templates that I'm using for Pennyware. I can upload a PDF if I want a signature for a one time signature or upload a PDF template if, I, if I'm using a template several times. I have also a series of tags here. For example, if I only want to see my HR documents, I can click here and I will only see those documents. I can send the document for signature, sign it now if I need to sign it myself or share it, but note that this option is only available if you have only one role in this document. So talking about roles, let me explain a little bit more about this. If you go to configuration roles, you will see all those roles that are created by default by Odoo. You can either modify the existing roles or create a new one. So in this case, I will just modify this one because I think it's not really clear uh, what it means. And that is saved. I have an option for an extra authentication step if I need to um, make sure that it's more secure. So for example, I can request a unique code sent via SMS to my customer, or I can also authenticate via It's Me, but that is only available for a few countries. Now, if I go back to my dashboard, I will now upload a PDF template. That is something that I will use several times. So I'm uploading a PDF template instead of a just a document to sign. And as you can see, I have here my signature fields, but at the moment I would have to print it and make it sign manually, which is not what I, uh, I intend to do. So I will just add a field here for the service provider, which is me, and a field here for the customer. Wow, that makes it way easier. But I see that both fields are assigned to the customer. You're right, Dana. Actually here, since I'm the service provider, I will change this because by default, the field that is chosen is the customer one. But of course, who I want to be signing is the service provider. And I can also choose to make it mandatory or not. Of course, a signature here is mandatory, so I will keep it like this and validate it. Cool. And for what are all those other fields on the left? So here I have a lot of fields indeed that can help me customize this document as I want it. So for example, I can add uh, initials, uh, the name, an email field, phone number, etc. I can also add, for example, a checkbox if I need my customers to choose between several options. So in this case, I don't need more fields. I will just leave it like this. And now that is ready, I can just send it to the people I'm, I, I want to be signing. So for example, the service provider is me and the customer is our customer, John Doe. And I can just, for example, modify the subject if I want to have a different subject and modify the text here. But I will leave it like this. I think it's clear enough and I will send it. Now, if I go to the documents, all documents tab, I can see now that my documents have appears here that I have a signature pending for myself and a signature pending for the customer. As you can see, when the document is signed, it appears in green like this. Of course, in this case, since I am the one that needs to sign, I will go to waiting for me and I will be able to click here and sign the document right away. So as you can see, I have an automated signature that is generated. I can just validate it and send it. And now it is ready and my customer needs to send it right now. So there you have it. Managing e signatures is easy and convenient with OdoSign. Know that you can also connect sign with many other apps such as documents, recruitment, etc. Thank you for watching and see you next time.